it's like right now. Um, I'm sure thousands of other houses look the same or even worse. Shattered windows. Um, this is our neighbor's house. Every house in this building has been severe, severely damaged. Hi. Hi. Hello. This is um, Madame Khail Street. You see people working and cleaning already. Um, so good to see how people pull together. Um, this used to be a phone shop. I got my phone cover from here last week. And Anidea is a pub that recently opened. I'm not sure they can reopen. Um, I can see a group of volunteers here and um, trying to organize and see how they can help um, residents here to clean up the streets and collect their belongings to find a shelter. I think that everyone is feeling a sense of responsibility towards the city. Uh, it's our captain. Uh, it has a special place in our heart and we want to assist everyone in any way we can. Especially that we can see that the government is unable to do anything. So uh, that's what we're here for. We're here to assist. This used to be a sushi place. We're not allowed to go in there as some buildings are might like just collapse at, at any moment. Almost all the cars that are here are partly or completely destroyed. So not only um, old buildings were damaged but also new ones in what we describe a really gentrified city. So this tent here has been set up to um, support people with basic needs, food and water. This is a really vibrant part of the city and it is still vibrant, but now I guess from the solidarity, the sense of solidarity we feel whenever disasters occur. And at least we still have that.